from sunny sunny beach uh, 10 o'clock in the morning everybody's in t-shirts and believe it or not this is the 1st of November so going back to September two months ago okay so the weather's gonna plummet it's gonna get really bad in a couple of weeks once we hit October it's gonna be horrible which it quite often is uh, this year is an exception to the rule it's absolutely gorgeous and uh, it makes you think it was a good decision to come and live in this area because uh, it's certainly not wet and horrible and we're just enjoying being out chatting to people oh, there you go it's really surprising how many people or how many dogs are around the front today um, people just meeting up and chatting. So it's just so beautiful. I can't help but mention it's the first day in November. Uh, I can't actually remember now a day of heavy rain. I, I really can't remember. It's got to be back in September, a couple of months ago, that we had any real serious rain. We have forecast this weekend of a couple of wet days, Saturday and Sunday, which is to be expected, but really looking forward to it because the gardens, the forest and all the greenery really, really need some rain now. It's very, very dry. Uh, you can see the lawns here, which aren't being watered now. It's end of season, obviously out of season. They've not got the sprinklers on. And they're really seriously drying out because we need, desperately need some rain. Keep things going. Well, here we have a few members of the Puddle Ducks expat group they meet twice a week for a walk and it's a bit of a swim for some of them um, a little stroll <laughs> what's I got the dog with us as well today rye band he's not always with us because he gets over excited just loves it too much goes running off And the cling film, they haven't been short. They have, there might be a financial crisis around the world, but they have not skimped on cling film in Sunny Beach. There you go. These palm trees are now fully encased in plastic. They certainly love the old cling film here. I expect this afternoon there'll be a few uh, people sunbathing because uh, it's back in the 20s it's very very it's perfectly okay to, to sunbathe today there's no wind so it's uh, just chill out lay out on the beach and relax time Uh, this seems to be one of the latest little things this last couple of years <laughs> there's people stacking up rocks on the beach or anywhere this is what they tend to do I think it's I think it's art anyway it's leaving your personal impression your personal sort of footprint on the beach a bit like leaving a sandcastle but 
a bit more modern way of doing it. tiles all stacked up. Braymax the top brand in Bulgaria, the most common brand of tile, Braymac tiles. So they're taken off the felt. They're taking the felt off, they're putting the battens on now for the um, for the tiles to go up. And in typical in Bulgaria there is very little health and safety. So the guys are all up there with no orange vests, no helmets and no safety rails <laughs> walking around on the roof, sort of several floors up, which is a bit squeamish for me anyway. Can't watch that too long, but that's how they work in Bulgaria. It's certainly a different way of doing things to Western Europe. now take cash or card but there are quite a few that are still cash only it's a cash society here you pay your council tax cash you do your medical insurance at the insurance brokers cash you pay loads of bills you buy your house and you pay your land tax in cash you purchase tax in cash so it's a bit risky to rely purely on a card so always come with some money I'll keep some money on you in case you need some cash. It's not a cashless society here yet. It is rather odd though, paying government taxes and local authority taxes in cash. Um, a lot of things, they don't say like the insurance broker, we're doing our um, health insurance annual health insurance here and they only take cash they don't do card so if I insure my car I've got to pay cash <laughs> really strange that sun is now really burning it's very very whoa, I can feel the sun on me now Really powerful. It's a real shame that people aren't here to enjoy it, but uh, the problem is a lot of people subscribe. A lot of subscribers um, message me and say, "Why don't they keep the season, Andrew, going for another month to the end of October? Look at it; it's magnificent." They would do if it was every year. Unfortunately, it isn't. Normally at the end of September, first week in October, it gets rainy and cold. And that's the norm. So they don't when people have come out they've been very disappointed, so they don't come. It's safer not to book people in. This year is completely different because we have this glorious weather going right up to November. And so if it's guaranteed the resort would be, wow, totally different if it could have a later season until the end of October, it would be marvellous. But obviously the market is reduced, uh, there would be no children or anything, it'd be a, it would be reduced, but it would be great if you just keep going a little bit longer. Hello Puss, what a magnificent place you've got to lay out, eh? Got the beach at the back. And the slingshot. <laughs> One of the amazing things about Bulgaria, one of the reasons we live here, 
It has defined seasons. We have a fantastic summer. We normally have an autumn and a very short winter, which is basically November, December, January. Um, three months of winter, then spring's back. This year's a bit exceptional. We're into November and we've still got really good weather, which is unusual. People still enjoying the beach and the sun this time of year, which is amazing. What a decision to come and live here. Anyway, it's uh, Cha Cha for now. See you again later from a glorious and sunny, sunny beach.